I have some important secrets to share with you. This secret started 70,000 years ago when men invented oil lamps. How it works? We have a fluid in the bottom and a wick to conduct the fluid toward the flame. So this device helped men to handle fire since the beginning because the flame is small and take a small amount of fuel and we have this hydrology here not yet on the patenting affairs I can say that around 9,000 patents in the US PTO is not exploring some deep easy secrets behind it that can make you have a good gardening or lots of money with patents in many technological applications like uh, ink cartridge, uh, like uh, markers, like uh, biotechnology and so on. How it works? So I worked with a nylon cord and it was used for gardening that the water going upward toward the flames and I realized that this uh, I'm going to show you here. I, I, I realized that the wick is not a wick because this cord here cannot be, it would not work on oil lamp. I'm going to show you here. I'll use this tip now. So if this burns by itself, it doesn't extend the functioning of oil lamp and it is a much advanced hydrology that has room for near a hundred or perhaps two hundred thousand patents and the hydrology is not that so complicated because you can see here on the wall we have a drying paper and the water in the bottom is called saturate on the top unsaturated this water it moves continually upward and this part here has water has air and salt part and you see the plant loves because this plant it has the rooting system in a system like that one and the water moves upward continuously by this nylon cord that is not a wick it doesn't work as a wick the knowledge for this is a read on textbooks soil physics so I learned it deeply on my PhD at Penn State University hydrogeology and I already got the three patents because I was playing with an advanced rope that I refused to admit as a wig. Not for professionals that understand hydraulic deeply. I am requesting USPTO to respect common knowledge, to respect what in the books for more than a hundred years and cancel thousands of patents and this open room for you, for me, for you, for everybody who wants to apply deep knowledge, develop nice products with a different profile. You see, this, this plant here is not disposable. This plant is in a perfect balance, receiving water constantly, and you can have much more plants with a better functioning. I invite you to share with me this fight for an advanced technology in a respect for common knowledge. Thank you and have fun. Bye.
this is a sort of invention because uh, when water goes upward, because I must a PhD in, in soil science, and I have a deep learning in soil physics. So uh, if you go to this book, and you find here unsaturated hydraulic conductivity. This is not in the patents yet, and uh, I have three American patents, but unhappily, uh, around 9,000 patents in the U.S. are not measuring fluids moving porosity, and I have a demand to the U.S. PTO to stop violating science and respect common knowledge. You can imagine, you get a PhD, and the common books you learn may not be respected on patenting because people are not respected this. They are considered as weak when it fails on oil lamps.